The ghostly procession of Pyagast wandered from gravesite to gravesite, lighting the baleful flames of Nagash's retribution and summoning to them the souls of those who would deny others the embrace of the God of Death. Starving and hungry, the ghouls of the royal beast flayers were digging up the corpses of fallen priests, tomb wardens and coffin makers. This desecration of the dead that rightfully belonged to Nagash would not stand and the half-dead ghouls would pay in fire and burning in Age of Sigma War Cry. In today's scenario, we're going to be playing with some of the brand new mission cards that are found inside Pyre and Flood. Our victory condition is going to be secure the ritual site. The defender will place four objectives over the table and during the course of the game, they'll need to pick all four of these at one point during each turn and defend it for that turn. If at any time one of these falls into enemy control at the end of the turn or while it is the chosen objective, the attacker will win. Otherwise, the defender will win if they manage to hold off the attackers and control all for at the end of the game. Our twist is hidden threats. This will give us some extra damage if we choose to wait after using a counter ability. And our deployment will be blood soaked battlefield. In today's scenario, I'm going to be playing with the Pyrogeists. In my dagger, I've got a Deacon of Flames with Brazier Staff, a Balefire Guard with Flaming Howard, and another Balefire Guard with Scorch Flail. Meanwhile, in my shield, I'll have a flame wraith with balefire torches and two torch rays. And for my hammer, I'm going to have another flame wraith, this time with brazier staff and another torch wraith. Steven is going to be playing with the Royal Beast Flayers in our game today. In his dagger, he's got his Royal Flame Master, Beast Flayer Baron and a Gorgul Squire. Meanwhile, in his shield will be three ghoul trackers. And lastly, in his hammer will be two Offal Hounds and two Gore Gore Squires. So we are all deployed on the table in this scenario. All our different battle groups are starting on the table. So I've got my Deacon down here along with the Balefire Guard. I then have a Torch Wraith and Flame Wraith with the Brazier Staff in the center. And then up the top here, I've got two more torch rays and the flame wraith with balefire torches. For the royal beast players, the ghouls, you've got three of your ghoul trackers up the top. You've then got two gore ghoul squires along with your offal hounds in the center there, and then your flame master baron and another gore ghoul squire um, in this part of the battlefield. Other thing, I had to place four objectives after the battle was stopped. Uh, before the battle begins, after we've deployed, we've got one, two, three, and four. If you've looked at the scenario before the game, you'll see where these are apparent. Today's video is sponsored by Gap Games, a fantastic miniature wargaming store in Queensland, Australia. They stock a wide variety of miniature war games from all things Games Workshop to some of my personal favourites, Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings, and all things Modifius war games as well. Use our affiliate code in the link below to help support both this fantastic store and the channel as well. <laughs> So, we are going to go initiative for round one. This is for the Pyrogeists. Uh, I'm going to have a double two, double three there. Meanwhile, Steven, for the ghouls, double one, double two. And so, now that we've got initiative, we do both have the same amount of singles as neither of us are spending our wild dice this round. So, it will be a flat roll off to see who gets the initiative. I got a one. Stephen got a three. Who is going to have the first turn? I will. You're going to take it? All right. So now I need to pick what I'm going to have. And I'm going to choose here to be round ones. Site of my ritual. All right. Your first activation is just one of the ghoul trackers there moving in uh, next to the objective. My first activation will be moving to meet said ghoul at the door. Uh, we are going to attack with my Balefire Torch, wielding Flame Wraith. So, straight forward, defense three on your ghoul. My little guy is shields three, yep. So, threes. Uh, that will be all of them, but that is just three points of damage, because I'm only one four in my damage. You're then just going to go a double with Rush on the Offal Hound there. Uh, so, my Torch Wraith is going to spend a double for Pyrobber's Curse. This gives me plus one strength to my attacks. Um, but also 
if I take an enemy fighter down, I will cremate them. Uh, so I am going to be strength four against defense four because you will get the buff for the fence being intervening terrain. Uh, so I will need fours. Uh, so that will be three, four, five damage. And that will cremate you as well. And so that puts down a cremation token for the guys now. Now what these do is really interesting. I don't have a reaction with the guys. I have a cremation that I can do, which at the end of the round actually deals some damage to enemies nearby, these sort of burning bodies. So I'm going to attack the Awful Hound, who won't get a bonus against this because I'm actually on the barricade this time. So... Defense of Awful Hound is three, three yep. so I will need threes this time. Uh, just the ones, that is a point of damage. Uh, so, your next is the second Awful Hound coming on the objective. A little bit annoying because it's pretty much forced all of these guys to have to go on that objective now. Uh, but I am going to activate over here next. I'm going to go with a Torch Wraith. Uh, my Torch Wraith here at the front is going to go into your closest Ghoul Tracker. So, needing fours. Will be two points of damage so far and a second attack will see me do another four points of damage so it'll be six all up you've then gone a double move with your flame master into the center there all right moved up my deacon he's going to attack the awful hounds so uh spent a double for fan the flames which just add plus one damage to all my hits and critical hits so i'll be four five on my damage now needing threes just the one, so it'll be four points of damage. You're then going to go a base move here with the Gorgle Squire. Uh, I then had to go a double move and disengage first of all, and then make a move over there to get within range of the objective. You've then gone and made a move. I'm then gonna go a disengage and move though, and just move myself to here, right behind, which gets me within range of the objective, and I will control this round. Double move, sees your ghoul move to there. My other torch wraith is going to shoot your ghoul there, so we will need fours. Uh, that will be one point of damage on him, taking him to seven. I need one more four plus to take him out, which I get, and I'll take that ghoul out. So you're moving up to potentially get some uh, laser beam action next round, but you are going to have to take d6 points of damage from the dangerous drain. Take three. My well, last Flame Wraith will just make a move there, and you've got your last Google Squire here to go, who is just going to jump on the objective there. End of the round. Yes, I will control it. I've got three to two, uh, so you won't get it. However, you also have one fighter in range of the token here. Uh, sorry, no, it's one inch for the tokens, not three inch, so ignore that. No one's going to get burnt by immolation tokens yet, uh, but we are going to go priority for round two. So, priority for the Pie Geists. Uh, that is cock that one, so we'll roll that again. And I got a quad five. Mm. And two singles. Stephen, meanwhile, we'll get a double five, double one. All right, so while it wise, I've chosen to take two doubles as well as my quad. Stephen has made a triple five. You've got the only singles. Uh, so before the round begins, I've got to decide which one of the objectives I'm going to declare. Uh, and I'm going to pick this one here now, up the top, uh, to be the one that I will need to keep you away from. First activation though, Stephen has made a disengage and move with the little ghoul tracker there to go onto the objective. Alrighty, so this torch wraith here uh, is going to go with Pyre Robber's Curse. And I'm going to make my shooting attack into the little ghoul tracker here. So we need threes now. Uh, that will be five points of damage to begin with. And threes to go again. There'll be two more. You live on one wound, unfortunately. Right, so you've then gone and spent a double for rush with your awful hound there, moving on to the objective. Uh, move my torch wraith, who is just within three inches of the objective now. And I'm going to use my Pyre Robber's Curse on your little ghoul again. I need threes, and I get him. He will cremate. Other thing you're going to have to do is you've now got D6 damage points coming to your leader. Uh, he takes six. 
Uh, I'm going to move my torch wraith in and I have the need of fours to wound you. Uh, will just be the one, but it will be a crit, so there'll be another four wounds on you, taking your ten. You're just going to go a move and get your Google Squire on the objective here. Uh, I'm going to go next. I'm going to activate the Torch Wraith here. Uh, so four attacks at strength four. Going into your defensive four, it means I'll need fours with the Torch Wraith after moving. Uh, that will be a crit, so that will be three points of damage on him. All right, so I've used my quad for agonizing penance, moving your Google Squire here down. Now, the first thing is first is you've moved over the dangerous terrain. So D6 damage points to you. He takes number four. He goes to seven. All right, so next, you're going to have to take a full test. So roll a dice for me. On a one, you fall and will hurt yourself. You're fine. And then, yep, yeah, it'll be your activation next. All righty, so you're going to attack my torch race next. Uh, so... You are strength on the Google Squire is strength three, so you will need fives. Just the one. You have used an onslaught here, that's why you're getting the extra attack. So one hit so far, so I take two points of damage. Go again. A crit will see me take another three, so I take five. All right, Torch Wraith, we'll need to go. We need fours. Get them all. That'll take him out. Right, next you're going to go attacks into the Deacon with the Awful Hound here. Strength four. Uh, defense five, so you need fives. Hey, that's a triple crit. That's 12 damage out of my 20 gone. Uh, go again. Uh, so that is another oh, six. Is. I am down to two wounds left on him. Now I am going to attack back with my Deacon because he was not fond of that at all. Uh, needing threes because I am strength five. Uh, so I got one and a crit that is seven damage so far on top of your five that you've already taken. So it'll be 12 so far. And going again, uh, that will be four, ten more damage. So that will take the awful hand out. Bad dog, bad. Your last activation will be the Baron moving in. Now I do have one fighter that is a two inch range there. And so the axe will try and attack. Three attacks at strength five. I need threes. Uh, will be four points of damage so far. And going again. Just be another six points of damage. And then I'll disengage with my last fighter here. End of the round. It will be four to three here on the objective now. Uh, and because we've got the cremation token, Stephen's Squire here will take another three points of damage. And so we're going to go into turn three. He's still not controlled one. Today's game is played on the fantastic battle mats from our longtime supporters, Mithras Games. Top quality battle mats from New Zealand that have a variety of different designs that can suit almost any battlefield you could imagine. And so, priority for round three. This is for the undead. I've got a triple six, double five. I'll take that. Uh, Steven, meanwhile have a double two, double three. Alrighty, so for Wild Dice, I've chosen to keep mine. Steven has made a double one there. Uh, so we both got a single, so it means it'll be a roller for the round. I got a three, Steven got a six. Are you taking it or are you giving it to me? I'm taking it. Taking it. I'm going to choose this objective here to be the one for the round. Alrighty, so you're gonna go with the Baron first, attacking my Deacon. I am going to declare the use of the action counter. Uh, so for each one you roll, uh, for each hit roll uh, that misses, you allocate one, but for each hit of a one, you allocate two damage points. So go, uh, you will need fives, so that is three points of damage to you, but you will take me out. And then you'll just make a move onto the objective that isn't the one for the rounds. Uh, so I'm going to go fan the flames for a double on my... Flame Wraith with the Torch, attacking your leader, because I do have a two inch range. So I will now have strength of four against your defense four, but I am two five on my damage. So I need fours. I've just been a crit, but it is five points of damage, taking you to 18. You've got two left, I believe. Mm -hmm. So a single hit here will take you out. And it's another crit, and take him down. Uh, so your Google Squire is going to attack my Flame Wraith with torches. Uh, so you will need fives after you've used an Onslaught for the extra attack. We get one and a crit. 
which will be five points of damage. Mm -hmm. Go again. We need to double that output to take me down. Um, that would just be the crit, okay. so there'll be eight wounds in total to me. Uh, so I'm going to attack back. I am strength four into defense four of your goggle squad, so I do need fours. However, that crit will be the three damage I need to take him down. Alright, your awful hound will then make a move around to the last objective on the table. Spending a triple for a rush now, going into the Baron. Uh, I am strength four. We have four attacks, so Baron is defense four, so only fours. That will just be two, but that will be four wounds on him. That will take him to 12. No, 13. So you're going to move now with your Google Squire. Uh, you are going to need fives because I'm defense six behind the barricade. With an onslaught. Yep. Uh, ooh, that's nice though. Mm. Two crits and a hit. That's six. Uh, so I've just got the last actions. Both of my torch rays from up there have come over here. Uh, I've now just got one more torch rays. He's going to take a shot into the awful hound. We need fours. Uh, that will be four points of damage on the awful hound though. Alright, so I control the objective, so Steven now needs to control this one at the end of the game. It's going to be a tough ask, because you are outnumbered as hell at the moment. Mm. Uh, the ghosts are closing in, but priority for me, uh, I will get a double four, triple two. I need quads. I need something. That will be a double, double, double of four, five, and six. All right, for the priority, I've spent my wild to guarantee I get the turn. Steven has made two triples. Uh, so we are going to go. I'm going to activate here first. Uh, and to begin with, I'm going to activate the quad of Agonizing Penance. So I'm going to pick your Awful Hound. He now moves towards the closest fighter, which will bring him within an inch of the terrain. So D6 damage on him. For three. Uh, so that will take him to seven. And then the penance ability, everyone within three, including him, now takes three points of damage. So that will kill the Baron. And put three points on him and another three on him, taking him to ten. Uh, and then I've got my flail, which is going to go into your Google Square. Um, so we are going to be needing fives because you are uh no because we're both at the, yeah we're both the barricade so i'm gonna need fives so you're gonna be defense five nothing and go again got a crit on him so he will take another four points of damage so he'll go to seven you're gonna spend a double for onslaught here uh so you will need fives as well back at me uh, that'll be two and the crit so Mm. That's seven mm. plus what have you got there? Five, six, seven, eight. That will take me out because I've only got 12 wounds. Now, Torch Wraith here is going to spend a double for Pyro Robber's Curse. So this means I'll need fours now to wound. And all fail on the first shot. Second shot got two, but there'll only be two points of damage, meaning you'll go to nine. So Pyro Robber's Curse won't go off. One there. And so with that, Stephen has to pass to the Awful Hound because he has to stay on the objective at this point. Um, and at which point the ghosts just start going one, two, three. He doesn't need to move. Bam. And we'll control the objective at the end of the game and a victory to the pyre geists. Ah!